Hi everyone, I'm Justine Hale and I'm the author of the Shy Shelly series. Today we are going to learn how to create kid power stories. Now what are kid power stories? These are stories that show that kids are not passive, kids can solve problems, kids can help others, and that kids are special. They are a gift from God. There are three basic steps that we're going to take up in creating a kid power story. First, create a hero. Second is to care about a cause. And third is to courageously speak. Let's start with the first step, create a hero. A hero is someone noted for his courage and nobleness. For the first part of this exercise, come up with a hero's wish. What is the greatest wish of your hero? Now you can pause this video as you think about what your hero truly wants. The second step is for your hero to care about a cause. Now how are you going to do this? First, you have to put your hero in a worrisome scenario. This can be um, your hero's worst fear or a scary situation. So you can do this by listing down your personal fears. So this can be um, maybe being bullied, um, your parents um, separating, maybe death in the family, death of a friend, or maybe um, what you are most fearful about right now is um, this uh, coronavirus pandemic. And maybe this is um, the situation where your hero is in. Once you put your hero in a worrisome scenario, the second step is to ask what your hero would do. What does your hero want to do now that he is in this scary, worrisome scenario? So this is something that you can think about for a while as you pause the video. And the last step is to courageously speak the truth. Now I want you to grab a piece of paper and then um, in the middle of the paper, you write down um, or you draw the hero surrounded with um, bubble thoughts. So the bubble thoughts would contain the things that are going in the head of your, inside the head of your hero. Maybe, um, let's say, the worrisome scenario that you put your hero in is um, in a lockdown situation. Your hero was unable to go home, so he's stuck in school with his most hated classmates. Um, he would probably look for a secret room where he would keep all the food from the vending machine, or maybe um, he will just pretend to be asleep all the time. Maybe he will not talk to um, his classmates, or maybe he will try to um, befriend at least one of them. So you can put all the things your hero is struggling with now that he is in this worrisome scenario. Once your hero has completed all the bubble thoughts, you can now help your hero courageously speak the truth. So maybe if he um, thought of um, keeping a secret room for his food, or, and maybe he really did keep a secret room, now is the time for him to tell the truth because maybe one of his classmates became ill or very hungry or one of them um, just um, started crying and um, that person wouldn't stop. So you help your hero finally just burst all those um, bubble thoughts, and most of them bad bubble thoughts and finally come to a point of truth where he or she will courageously speak. Okay, so those are the steps on how to write a kid power story. I hope you're encouraged. And maybe after you've written your story, you can share it online or share it to the people at home, share it with your family so that uh, they can also be encouraged. And as we end, I want to leave you with some Bible verse. It's in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So I hope that um, even if um, we live in scary and overwhelming, uncertain times, that um, you would uh, be courageous and find your hope and faith in Christ. So just write that story, share it with someone, and take care.